If your beat sounds something like this, then you're missing an essential ingredient. Could you hear the missing ingredient? If not, don't worry, that's because the drum beat is actually pretty good exactly the way it is. The kick rhythm is super lively from all the syncopation, which is an offbeat accent. The hi-hat rhythm is creative because it's not just playing the usual eighth notes, and the backbeat snare locks it all together. It's a good drum beat. So, what's the missing ingredient that will transform this good beat into a great beat? Orchestration. Orchestration is how you voice your pattern across the drum kit. In other words, what element of the drum kit you play each individual rhythm on. Drum beats are most commonly played on three elements, kick, snare, and cymbals. But your drums will sound more creative if you orchestrate them over more of the kit. Drummers tend to do this naturally because the kit is literally right in front of them so they see the elements they're not hitting. For producers though, it's not that easy to see if there are elements of the kit that you're missing. As you probably know, there are four elements in a drum kit. Kick, snare, toms, and cymbals. Within two of those elements though, there are also sub-elements. Because the drum kit usually has two or three toms, as well as two or three cymbals, and the hi-hats can also be played open or closed. Each element of the drum kit has a different function. We don't have time to cover any of that stuff in this lesson, but if you want to learn how to use each of the four elements based on their specific functions, then download our Hack Drum Beats PDF. Everything you need to know for making creative beats is in this one PDF, and it also comes with MIDI file examples. So, most drum beats these days consist of only three of the four elements, kick, snare, and hats. The most commonly underused element is toms. So, by adding toms into your beats, they'll instantly stand out from all the generic beats most producers use. And they'll actually sound like something a drummer would play. One of the best ways to incorporate toms into your drum beats is to partially revoice your kick rhythm. In other words, move a few of your kicks onto the toms. If there's anywhere in your beat where you've got two or three kicks in a row, move one or two of those onto toms. And feel free to use two or three different toms as well. With those toms in your beat, it'll have way more depth and texture. Next, you want to partially revoice your hat rhythm. The easiest way to do that is to move a few hits from closed hats to open hats, or vice versa. This will enliven your beats, as that swishy open hat sound is the perfect contrast to the tightness of those closed hats. Also, move one hit over to a crash cymbal for an accent. The standard place for this is beat one, but don't feel like you have to accent beat one. In fact, in our drum beat, we accented beat two, which adds a little unexpected flavor. Right, here's the new and improved drum beat with its expanded orchestration, which now covers the whole drum kit. In the end, we only revoiced six hits, but that's all it takes to totally transform a good beat into a great beat. And on top of that, it now sounds like something a drummer would play.